Hey everyone, the Collins Creatures. Some people have cockroaches in their house, some even on purpose, like me. I keep several species of pet cockroaches, like today's subject, the Madagascar Hissing Cockroach. And why would someone want to keep cockroaches? Well, some have cool appearances, they can be very fun to watch, some are easy to handle, like these guys, uh, they all have relatively easy care, and some of them can be used as feeders for uh, certain reptiles. When I visited the Bronx Zoo in their Madagascar building, they had a very large colony of Madagascar hissing cockroaches, and I think it's pretty likely they use them for feeders for other animals around the zoo. The scientific name of the Madagascar hissing cockroach is Gromphodorhina portentosa, and they are from the forests of southern Madagascar, which is the same for the other three species in the Gromphodorhina genus. They are relatively long-lived, especially for an insect, living up to five years in captivity, though in the wild, they typically die or are eaten before that point. They are a large species of cockroach that gets to about three inches in length, which is pretty big for a cockroach. They have armored plates covering their head and thorax, the plate covering their head is black with the other two plates and their abdomen an orangey brown. On their head plate, they have two horns, which are most prominent on the males, and they are also found on the other Gromphodorhina species. The Madagascar hissing cockroach has a commensal relationship with a species of mite known as Andrelalaps schaeferi, which lives on the exoskeleton of the cockroach. And what the mite does is it will cling on to the exoskeleton until the cockroach has found something to eat. Then it will climb off and eat whatever the cockroach is eating, and then it will climb back on. It is also thought that these mites clean the exoskeleton of the cockroach. Now, they're teeny tiny, so you can't really see them with, um, on the camera, but here's a picture of them on screen. Madagascar hissing cockroaches are nocturnal, so you're likely going to see them underneath whatever you put in their enclosure during the day. The males use their horns to fend their territory off from other males of the species. And their most famous characteristic is their hissing, which is when they force air out through holes on the side of their body, known as spiracles, which are also the holes they breathe through, which creates a hissing sound and is used as a threat to, towards other animals to make them see, seem more scary, though really they are completely harmless. Here are some examples of their hissing sound. In the wild, they eat plant matter, like fallen leaves, fruits, and other things of the sort. They will also eat meat, though this isn't a very major part of their diet and does not need to be replicated in captivity. And everything that I listed is pretty easy to get into captivity for their care, so let's go into their captive care, which is very easy, like most other species of cockroaches. The, for their enclosure, I use a purse box that has been turned onto its back so that the hatch faces upwards. And then the substrate should be something soily. I use coconut fiber. There should be something for them to hide under. I use a piece of cork bark. They don't need a water dish because they get pretty much all their moisture from their food. Um, they can be fed a uh, uh, leafy greens uh, and fruit and vegetable uh, scraps and they're very easy to handle they're very docile even if they hiss at you it's just a display they'll stop once you get them out 
Though I will say they do have spikes on their legs, so they can be a bit pokey if you're trying to grab them. So that is the Madagascar Hissing Cockroach. I hope you enjoyed and consider buying these for yourself. They're really awesome animals. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot. I learned a lot while I was researching for this video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.